but play has resumed and why don't we bring you some of the highlights and we'll start with Georgia Hall on the opening hole her second to the front centre of the green but the third straight in and that moved the English player to two under from the world number four so she was starting to make a move ah, Chella Choi for her second birdie of the day on the par five fifth down the hill never anywhere else no doubt at all the tester for Alison Lee look at the slope at the back of three just hitting it into the upslope that is <laughs> that was ridiculous <laughs> gosh that was good yeah it was always a three always from back there never creating all sorts of mischief certainly in the bunkers there we'll see them throughout the week and we're going to see this play out throughout the week as well. The world number one with a tiddler at the fourth. What a great tee shot for Lydia Ko. Down the hill, right to left. Oh, that's a, a good start for the world number one. No one was hitting. It was very squelchy <laughs> down there on the range. It takes a lot to get the clubs out of their hands when they're warming up, I can tell you that much. Let's go to three with Titikin putting back up towards the hill. Difficult part to read but not if you're the world number four, Atiyah Titikin rolling in a has. What a player. Across the green at the fourth, Carlotta Saganda has this opportunity for a two and to move to four under. Oh, Bamos, Bamos. How That's a great wrap. And a lovely way to start for Lee Six. A very tidy three on the scorecard to open her campaign. It's been good fun. Players are making about a, a 20 minute journey out across the bridge to Sentosa this week. Hannah Green for birdie at six. In hers goes. It's by the bay earlier this week, took in some of the sights of Singapore. Danielle Kang is on a tear. Three birdies so far in the opening six holes, and here is her approach to the sixth. Oh, come on, Danielle Kang. How about that? Wow. Another birdie for the American to get to five under. Oh, this would be an extraordinary start. And the way her card has gone so far, she should be missing that because she's gone birdie, part, birdie, part, birdie. And that's her last victory as well as winning the Scottish Open last season on the LPGA Tour. Big win. That's a great part as the rain is getting heavier out on the course. Well, Mina Harrogate's third shot into the par five fifth hole. Hold the par for third. And here she is, Elizabeth Sokol trying to get close. Pin 22 paces off. On. Eight off the left <laughs> edge. Off. What a way to come back. That's probably going to go down the slope, but either way. With the amount of moisture on the fairway. So. This now, looking to get up and down for the world number two. Bogies on three and four. Come on, knock it in. Good girl. It's good to see. Thanks, though, <laughs> as we watch Ayaka foot away. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> yeah, third shot in. We've seen a lot of great shots into this. A oh, little tricky little pin, to be fair, but they're only hitting pitch shots in no clubs. That's pretty cool. When you, you hear those stories, sometimes when you're in the game, you forget, but Hyoju Kim doesn't look like it's sitting down too badly. No, and she's coming to a pin that's 18 on seven from the left, so it's a good angle as well, just has to let it release, but like we saw Danielle Kang do. Nicely played, but I'm out. And that birdie hands her a share of second place right now, alongside Danielle Kang on six under par. So it's like that's where the water level rose to, and it's receded a little bit. Hyoju Kim finds her four at the par five. So she draws up alongside uh, the likes of on 12. It's a long par four today. But not after that excellent drive from the American. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, that is superb from Daniel Kang. Oh, move up that leaderboard. And opting to go with left hand low. We see more players on the LP iconic 15th hole and we thought it was a tough pin yesterday hasn't got much easier today 
<laughs> no, that's very true. Yeah. <laughs> oh. And a Norquist has made it look easy, though. 30 putts to get within one. Danielle Kang. She is on the charge. They're your scoring clubs. Oh, they certainly are, Ali. You called it. What a shot from Lee Six. It's a tap in birdie. Norquist. Chance for her birdie to get back in the red. <laughs> Come on. This is a huge putt. And in it goes. So Elizabeth. For the South Korean, now we'll see a move to six under par. So she moves in to a tie for third. Bounce for the Thai player. This is looking good. She stayed beautifully still over it and will pull that out for the third bird. 50k an hour. Up to eight. Corpus. Very nice. But everyone out here on the LPGA. Tabatanic is on a, a little bit of a run. She is. This one's playing 198 today. This is a long hole. I mean, it's downhill. I mean, that's an absolute beauty. And when you've just made three birdies on the bounce. 13th hole will be joined. Danielle Kang. She's got another. She has another. She's so many players just leaving it a hair short. But not Danielle. So birdie at one, par at two, birdie at three. Yeah, this is the fifth hole. She had her approach to just below the hole, five feet. Yeah, 162 for Liz. The only way to get it close to this hole is try and pitch it on the left fringe and feed it down. That is a brilliant seven iron, and that is going to be a 14. To cut the lead to one, and she has. Finished any of them off yet. Surely, Sod's Law says that one of these has to go in. To get within two. Just like that, Nelly Corder. Birdie at 12, Eagle at 13. Never say never, and we certainly wouldn't. Just got to convince yourself to hit it hard enough. And she does. That's a lovely roll from Ash. Second for Hyoju now. Ah, oh, that is fantastic from Hyoju Kim. Well, what a shot that is to finish with. This is a friendly pin position on 18. We've seen a lot of shots. To the last, Carlotta Siganda. There's been a good crew at the end of that 